Welcome back to another Subaru video. Today we do something different. We're gonna attempt to install, well, first we gotta make it, a cooling duct a brake, a cooling brake, no, a brake cooling duct system. But before we do any of that, I gotta have this fake bar. All right, let's do this. Here are the parts. Some of this stuff, like these pipes, for example, came from the Home Depot Performance Store. And um, this guy here came from the Menards Performance Store. This is just a uh, regular, well, kind of a flanged connector, three inch. This is also three inches. Some clamps. These guys are one and a half. All this is gonna go on the back. And this is gonna go on the front. Here I've removed both back plates from the front. The plan is to make a hole somewhere here. Cut this pipe in half so I have two pieces for each side. Or one piece for each side. Weld the piece, the half, to the back plate. Then attach this hose to here, clamp it down, and then route it kind of sort of underneath the car and attach it to the, uh, the plastic cover, engine cover underneath. Here we're going to cut this in half and with that piece this part is going to go if we're looking at the um, the rear right side, this part is gonna blow on the inside. Here's the imagine the rotor being here. It's gonna blow the air onto the rotor. This is gonna be attached to one of the lateral links or whatever whatever suspension part it's called. It's gonna be cut in half. And this actually this guy here is gonna go something like this and grab air right in here hmm what do you think this may actually work in my mind
this was the first one I welded. Look at these sh welds. The welder guys probably are thinking, what the hell was this guy doing? I'll tell you in a second. Wasn't my fault, obviously. This is the second one. This side looks much better. These I had to, it was a big gap, I just had to build up the welds, kind of do spot welding. Anyways, looks okay here, but looks like crap everywhere else. Because my welder decided to run at high speed all the time. Now it doesn't, obviously. Why would it do do it now with when I want to show everybody? But it will basically be like this. So there, there it is. Look. I can prove it. Oh. Okay, there it's fine again. See? Doesn't work again. So yeah. Ha, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Primed and painted with high temperature paint. White silver because that's what I had. girls it's actually been two weeks no it's been a week I got the car yesterday the track is in four hours I just finished the passenger side uh, ducting for the brake cooling so I'm kind of pressed for time I still have other stuff to do but this is a didn't film doing it because it just it would be boring more boring than usual. So this is it, you saw the plates before. So a, a flex, aluminum flex pipe right here. And then it uh, connects to another aluminum flex, but a kind of a, this type aluminum pipe versus this type. See, this one I cannot squeeze, this one I can. So this was the hardest part of all the of, of, of the whole job is to squeeze it right through here. Here you can see better. I had to remove the header, the exhaust manifold covers. This guy here. Now as long I hope as long as it doesn't touch the headers, it won't burn through. But yeah, just this part took quite a bit. It's touching the auto sensor there then it continues here the one on the right the one on the left it's been there for 12 years or so and it's still holding that's a four inch pipe you can see them both here i didn't want to get rid of my fog lights and the one on the left basically goes through the fender comes out here and blows cool air onto the engine intake Here's the other side. This one 
similar way, just more room here. You can see how the headers look. See much, much less room on the left than on the right. And then that continues into the plate. This is kind of a, well, I hope it, it's gonna work. There is airflow. I blew compressed air in front of the car and there is quite a bit of air coming out through these gaps here, which is, which was the, the whole point. I just hope it's gonna last throughout the whole day today. Uh, if it's gonna hold up, I'll just keep it this way. Uh, these are surprisingly tough, but the one for the intake, this one here, it doesn't move, it just uh, stays in the same place. It's been there for 12 years. This one will constantly move. So yeah, we will see. All right, gotta put it all back together. I did want to put this uh, cover back on. That's why my original idea was to put holes somewhere here and make kind of scoops but then when I blew air kind of uh, this way I had somebody blow air in front of the car I could not feel any air uh, going through here it, it all ended up being a little bit lower I thought maybe you know kind of a, a vortex action would kind of uh, loop under and blow air into this area but it didn't so that had to that idea had to be scratched. I may consider removing the AC condenser. You can see it's pretty damaged. Just get, getting rid of all the AC systems, save some weight and rotational mass, and the engine will have for sure better cooling. <clears throat> then I may end up if another duct will fit through here I may end up uh, doing some brake ducts here in this area forgot to mention this tape very useful you can do whatever you want with it aluminum aluminum tape use it to uh, kind of reinforce whatever the, the flex pipe touch metal parts or flex quite a bit I kind of just uh, reinforced all those areas so this is the finished product you can barely see it this is the back the back is probably not necessary but it was easy what the hell added a little feature to the back just to catch more air before it was just here it was kind of uh, this this plastic I was thinking it was kind of blacking it may the, the air may have been traveled up the vortex thing but just to be safe I attach these little um, extensions <laughs> I know it's all primitive but as long as it works I don't care you can see that it's much lower and uh, I did put a little screw in here so I can remove it and put it back on at the track so I don't catch anything it is it is pretty low you can see the other side there it's exactly the same yep removable rear brake cooling scoops all right guys this is it for the custom brake cooling system the car is almost ready for the track which is today in about two and a half hours so any questions any, any tips maybe whatever anybody that uh, might might be doing the same uh, kind of setup 
uh, on the same car or similar, maybe a WRX. Don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Next video is going to be on the track. See ya.